open discussion with anyone because you are afraid of a questions they will come and you are not capable of answering it's embarrassing hello hello yes uh, hi christian prince uh, you may not remember me but i called you in october <coughs> i was a muslim right i remember uh, you remember me i think uh, let me see because there is many people they call themselves the same name yeah i see uh, yeah i see your text you are the one who said to me you are paid by the jews <laughs> yeah actually, all right yes, thank you very is. much here we go this is okay but this text is is uh, uh, okay so now what happened why you decide why now you are saying to me i see another text from you saying i am sorry for saying you you preach hate i am leaving islam so what happened oh uh, yeah actually i left islam at that day only when i sent you this text so oh, this is right all now, this, now this is an old text i see this is an old text right 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 yeah okay. so i am i am uh, going to leave, leave my country pakistan all right well don't say where are you my friend just be careful yeah i know actually they lots of people are having my same name so they don't know me but actually it is a big issue you know if apostasy is a big uh, a big problem if they find out then they will kill me yeah, actually just, you just know the careful. funny just, thing is just be careful Hello? my friend just be careful don't share your information with anyone and maybe you can leave the country let me ask uh, you, you know did, 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 let me yeah. ask you did, did you think or consider to be a christian yeah i'm a christian you became a christian now no i not, it, not, uh, but, i i saw your videos and, okay are you thinking uh, about accepting yeah. the messiah you know for me it's very important not only to make you be saved because saving you from islam does not save you yet you are not done my for me uh, saving you is you reaching the right place which is to believe in the messiah the christ as your savior so as long you agree that islam is a false religion and you are the one who accused me to preach hate before but now you discover i'm not preaching hate and i'm trying to help you yeah, i'm sorry about that I that's also... all right i i know i offer you the name of my lord which is the best of the best which is the king of kings which is the wise of wise and no one is like him he is the best of the best and i invite you to accept his name as your lord and as your savior forever i already accepted him do you accept him that's wonderful yes may yeah, already may... i have i watched your videos and david wood's video and all right a lot, a lot about... i'm happy for you i'm so glad that you uh, uh you, you decide to leave this cult and i see that in your text you are saying that you said to me when you said to me you are preaching hate and then right like after that you change your mind so what what is the most important video you watch of mine made you like get to the final decision that islam must be a cult what i say to you at that time when you are watching uh, uh you you said something about that uh mohammed uh mohammed you know copied about blackstone uh i know actually hindus do believe blackstone in shiva they have shiva, shiva god and they also have that black stone they yeah. also do circle you know they also uh, walk in circle so it is all a ritual i researched about it mm -hmm. and you already uh, told about black stone and the second thing is about uh, that uh, varaka varaka mm -hmm. his uh, uncle he after he died he stopped, stopped receiving that revelation so yeah. then i knew that yeah, this is completely false i mean to that brother well, my friend, I have a brother. His name is Sam Shamoon. I don't know if you have his page in YouTube. You can go and visit his page. And if you need any question about Christianity, I'm sure he will be happy. This is his specialty. You know, he teaches the Bible. He's a Bible teacher. You can ask him and he will be happy to help you. Maybe somebody can post for you uh, the YouTube of uh, brother Sam Shamoon. He's a wonderful man. And you can go and learn from him any question you have. Yeah, and actually, you know the the most funny thing. <laughs> uh, my my parents think that I have shaitan in my body. That is why I'm not, uh, you know, um, I'm not going to mosque and uh, following the imam. Yeah, well, they think I. They will. They will. You know. You, you see, if if the if your parents they say to you that you have a shaitan in your body, tell them what's wrong with having shaitan in my body. If the prophet himself used to have a shaitan, isn't it Muhammad who say in the hadith? 
that he have a shaitan and he his shaitan command him to do good you know what i mean yeah. have you ever heard this before yeah i saw in your video that See? Uh, so, you that so you said that uh, even if shaitan... somebody accuse you show them how hypocrite they are how you reject that i have shaitan just because i left islam but muhammad have shaitan is not a problem and his shaitan his command him how can how he can be a prophet and he receive command from the devil and he confirmed that i actually showed you one of your video to my mom and he said that he will debate you but uh even now he has not yet called you right his name was mustafa sheikh something mustafa sheikh well i don't know mustafa. i did not what mustafa sheikh mustafa and you s e a f i k FAQ. I don't remember anyone okay. calling me. Anyway, I ask him if he is there around you. If the you know, ask him to call me. I will be happy to have him. Uh, I don't. I don't know why I he has not yet called. I I have told about this two months ago. He has not yet called. Mm, maybe he watched a little bit and then he said to himself, "Uh oh, I will be spanked. I better not to call." <laughs> I think it will be a language problem for him. I don't know. I will. I am here for whoever can call me. I you know. Um, I don't say no to anyone. I give Muslims all the opportunity to call me. I don't care if you are sheikh or you are just a kid. You know, I will talk to you based on who you are. I don't, I don't speak in a high level standard of uh, of uh, of knowledge with someone. He is, uh, you know, not much. I speak, you know, I speak with the kid as a kid. I speak with the adult as an adult. As simple as that. And the point is, we cannot we cannot discuss. Uh, deep information with someone who don't have the capability of, of understanding them so we better speak to him in the way he understood things and he in the way he is able to comprehend and that's what i do yeah and, and you know here we go we are here where is the muslims who want to call us and get us busted yeah uh, christian please i want to ask you about that uh black the black stone that someone stole him and they uh seated on that black stone <laughs> And is that story uh, story true? Yes, actually, there's a video about it. I have it in YouTube. Search in YouTube. I, I am the one who made the translation for it. A sheikh he was t talking about Al Qurmuti, who was screaming in the middle of the Kaaba after he destroyed it, and he took the black stone and he was saying to Allah, "Where is your birds?" Because the Quran, in the chapter of the elephants, speak that Allah He sent His birds to fight an army of elephants, which an army of Christians came to destroy the Kaaba. So in that story, he was speaking about it. And how the guy he took the black stone for more than 21 years. And by the way, the Muslim now they don't have a black stone no more. They're trying to resemble the shape of the black stone. If you go in the black stone, let me see if I can show you that. If you go to the black stone, I will search in Google, try to find a picture of a, clo a close by picture. Uh, <clears throat> It is a small, tiny stones left over of the original black stone, and they glue it together by wax. Let me see if I can get a close capture. We need to find a more clear. Actually, here we go. Actually, this is my. This is the picture I made. <laughs> Look, you see the pictures I made. They are in the internet now. Here we go. Okay. If you look here with me in the screen. Yeah. Actually, maybe if I um, let us see if we can zoom more, you will see that the black stone is not a black stone no more. There is little tiny stones and the rest is wax. The rest is wax. You see them? So yeah. they put wax to complete the shape of the black stone, which is used to be before like this, but now they don't have it. And here the question is, if Allah, he put the black stone and to be there until the judgment day, how Allah could not protect the black stone and now we have little tiny pieces and the Muslim, they are kissing it and licking it. The fact they are not licking the black stone, they are licking the wax, which is something they do always to the uh, black stone. 
I, I made a video actually about it about doing maintenance to the black stone they do maintenance every every month what is the maintenance they do touch up for the wax which is gone by the by uh, uh, by people touching it otherwise the stones will come out you can steal those stones you can take them off they are stone they are small stones they are, it's not it's not a piece it's not a it's not a big stone it's a small tiny stones I think it's eight stones left and uh, uh, this is what the Muslims have okay yeah yeah I, I, I saw this one I actually this one only I told you that so look like some they copied this, this from other religions you see here like they, here they make they make a like a do you see guys the the image here somebody made the resembling for them do you see there is there is oh, let us see how many I think they are eight uh, eight yeah eight small stones see it? yeah I guess. This is what is left of the stone. So what they are kissing, they are kissing the walks. And here in the so picture, they are making it look bigger, but the fact they are small, really small. Yeah. You know? This is not the original one. No, they are not. Uh, because there's no proof that this is the original anyway. You know? The Muslims, they had to pay. They had to pay for al qurmuti to get the black stone back. Mm. You see it here we go look how small guy do you see this is when they are doing maintenance to it look at this one let us highlight them one let us see let us make an arrow so this is one this is two this is a three this is four this is five this is six this is seven and this is eight so i was right it says it's eight stones that's it it's small this is what is left of uh, this is what is left of allah <laughs> this is the original one this is what is left of allah's stone i mean what, what a joke no i mean this is the original one this no they, they, cl they claim they claim that those stones they are from the original but if you notice they are different color like if you look with me here that this one doesn't look the same color as the other one you see here this one this one is dark black right and this one is kind of white yeah so uh, what do we have today this this one this is all this is all artificial this is all stupid this is pagan anyway i mean what even if the stone is there or not who care but as you see even that stone which muslim they claim that allah he sent is not is, is gone there's nothing left of it few tiny pieces and the muslims are licking it and touching it which means by two or three hundred from years years from now there's nothing will be left as long they are exposed <laughs> to people to touch them by time they will be they will, they will be gone i, I wish i can show you how they do because uh, if, i'm afraid if i play the video of uh, the maintenance they do to the black stone but you can search for it in, in youtube you will see how they do maintenance to black stone every month there's a, okay, uh, there's, a there's a guy there's a professional guy from Pakistan. He is the one who do the maintenance for the black stone. He put wax, which is called the amber. You know amber, amber. Okay, that's why it looked dark in color. It's it's expensive wax, very expensive wax. This is not something cheap. You know, so what do you say maintenance of the huh maintenance of the of the black stone what whatever left of the black stone let us say so they have to do maintenance for it every month to to fix uh, uh, the damage for the wax and as you yeah, see it I... is and as you see it is in the shape of a vagina we're showing miracle of that stone. <laughs> yeah anyway my friend thank you for calling i'm so happy for you that you left islam and you became a christian if you have any question for me please let me know all right thank you for coming take care god bless you see he said to me you preach hate he hated me first <laughs> this is a very normal response i always hear from muslims but later they leave islam and you will notice how the tone of the man change look this guy he called me before he said two months ago maybe we can go if somebody can go and find his call before 
you will see that the right right away when someone leave Islam his his the tone of his voice change the anger the evil it goes look how peaceful he is he's peaceful he is happy he is comfort he is in his comfort zone he don't feel angry he's not possessed by the devil of Islam right away something will change inside you it's not just you see when we when we became a christian it's not about just okay i believe in christ there is something will change on you the aggressive will be peaceful the criminal will be an like like he will act like an angel and for sure we are talking about somebody truly he believe in christ not somebody by name otherwise there's many people they were a cross but they are criminals actually they wear the cross to insult jesus The same as we see, like, you know, many people, they, they, they dress wearing a cross, but the fact they are wearing clothes, it's far away from Christ. It's just a decoration for them. Do we have any Muslim? Who is a Muslim? Only Muslim, please call me. I don't want to take a call from Christians. Only if you are a Muslim or you left Islam. Anyone? And as you see, this is what is left of Islam. Or the, the stone of Allah. That's it. This is what is left. What is that? And what 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 is this religion is about? Look here, here, this guy is doing the, the maintenance. Look, look, you see this picture? You see, he have a, he have a flame, what they call it, the machine, the one with the, with the, with the, with the gas. He have the flame to burn the wax, to melt it, to, to make it work around the, the stone. Here we go. Look, look, look. Here we go. We found some pictures. Do you see? Do you see, guys? This is the maintenance they do to the black stones because the black stone, will disappear if they don't fix it look they are doing the fixing look look at this if the black stone is holy and allah he sent it why allah don't do the fixing <laughs> why allah don't preserve the stone And those are the stones look here this picture is perfect you can see it better is it showing you guys more is this one showing you more look at this one here do you see the real stones the rest is amber which is amber in english i think it's an expensive material which is taken i think from the supposedly from the whale or from the deer uh, uh, testicles This is what this is what the black stone is. There's no black stone. It's a joke. It is a joke. This is what you are kissing? You stupid people. Are you are you are you serious? They fool you, they bring you all the way from Pakistan to kiss this. <laughs> 